All right, all right, all right. So my free-to-play account is going well. However, there are some mistakes that I did make along the way. Not paying close enough attention. Don't be an idiot like I was. Let's just hop right into it. There is a difference between you and me. We both looked into the abyss. But when it looked back at us, you blinked. Hi guys, I'm Gravy here and this is a DC Legends video. In this video, I'm going into week four of my free to play account and another critical mistake that I have made. Now this mistake isn't as devastating as the ones I made previously, but it is pretty bad and it centers around Jace Fox. Also, I've started farming a new tomb, which is going to be a replacement hopefully for my Jesse Quick. And we'll get, we'll get into all of that in a minute. However, let's just go ahead and get right into the mistake that I made. So. I have Eclipso as my only taunter, or the only taunter that I'm really willing to rely on at the moment. Um, and basically, because I have Eclipso, I'm building a, you know, uh, an evade team, which will have Arsenal who retaliates, then you have Jesse Quick who also gives evasion ups, and then you have um, Eclipso who gives evasion ups and taunt on himself. So that way, whenever we get hit and miss, we retaliate. Now, that was the main goal, but I was like, all right, I need another taunter. Jace Fox is actually, or was one of the PVP rewards problem I had was, that, okay, I can use Jace Fox as the taunter. What's the issue? The issue is, is that Jace Fox does not receive his taunt until the fifth ability when he's at rank five. I got enough frags to take him rank four before I realized it, before I actually paid attention to it, like the dumb dumb that I am, I went ahead and put the resources into it and then went down here and was like, oh, wait a minute, where is his taunt ability? Wait, 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 isn't it? And then I realized it's all the way down at five and it's not even a taunt, it is a 50% chance to gain taunt. This is why I remember now about six months ago, whenever I did that Chase for Jace video and I was feeling disappointed in him, this was part of the reasons why. Is you can't guarantee that the taunt's going to stay on him, which makes him an unreliable taunter. I just want to be able to call taunt. Like um, Naomi on her A1, she just calls taunt, period. It's not the kind of taunt that I want, but I can still, it's a, it's a taunt that I can still control. I have been using Jace Fox on my main account recently under Lex. Jace Fox as a taunter is very niche, meaning like he's going to perform better against special damage, um, special damage enemies and not against physical damage. And when he gets those int ups from Lex, he's going to run really, really well in those scenarios. However, in those specific scenarios where you're looking towards um, dealing with special damage energy, um, that's going to be like absolute I'm not, rare, but yeah, rare, but he will be useful in those. And once he gets the intelligence ups, he, he can be tanky. So it's it. I, I have had success using him on my main account. However, on my free to play account, makes no sense now that I think about it. Because one, those special damage situations aren't going to come around as much as they do for me on my main account. They will be there, but not as much. Number two, he's not a taunter that I can rely on. So there's that. The one thing that I can use him for is if I'm dealing with Black Flash on this ability. Um, or is it? Oh, actually, let me see. Let me double check. Oh, if Jace Fox is affected by turn meter down, 60% chance to gain two infinity ups and two agility ups. And then the legendary point is use trio of the of the attacker. Use Batarang's trio on the attacker. So then I can't even use him against Black Flash. So early game account, he's absolutely useless. Absolutely. Unless you just need a, a red damage dealer or something. He doesn't even do that much damage, to be quite frank. So me thinking like, oh, I'm going to have Jace Fox. I'm going to have a taunter. Stupid did not work out and i put the resources in before i actually looked at it so guys pay attention check the abilities before you put the resources into them and be sure that the tune is going to do what you think they're going to do don't be as dumb as i am now moving on to who i'm farming now in um red alerts i'm going to use him to kind of substitute oh that's wrong i'm going to use him eventually to take the place of Jesse Quick, and that is Superboy. Superboy is a special damage tune, which means he's gonna run really well under Lex once he gets all those int ups, light damage to an enemy, um, light special damage to an enemy, purse three buffs if true, if true boy, if Superboy has true sight, um, heat vision special damage to an enemy, gain one true sight, and then also apply stun, which I love. Stun is gonna help out a lot. Unfortunately, it's the A3, you would prefer like on the A1 with Hawk Girl, for example. Um, but better than nothing, 
And then emerging super sense passive ability at the beginning of his turn. If Superboy has no true sight, 50% chance to gain one true sight and one int up until the end of his turn, which is nice. And then if I go ahead and ring that out, that's going to be a 100% chance. Also very nice. Um, and then on his, and now this is the plus side. I can farm him in red alert. So then the passive ability, that's just a matter of time before it gets here. So, and actually maybe just read it instead of just putting it up there. But at the end of each enemy's turn, gain 5% turn meter up if any enemy has taunt or invisibility. Boom. Now on top of all that, he is pretty good. He's pretty solid on my main account. I'm going to start using him on my main account more just as basically research and development for this account. What I have done with Jesse Quick is, let's go over here. And apologies for the, I have a lag issue again. I thought I figured out my video setup. I thought I had everything working well, and now lag issues are back. <sighs> Such is life. Hopefully it doesn't come out as bad as, it, as it's looking on my screen right now. But anyway, so Jesse Quick. What I've decided to do with Jesse Quick, since I don't know when I'm going to get any more of her frags, she's at R3. She's falling off a bit. I have not put any more rings into her because basically what I need her for is for those buffs. And I don't want to wa waste more ring resources into her. So I'm going to make the transition over. I'm going to take her up as high as I can in terms of power level. That is how I'm focusing on um, my tunes energy, my tunes power is the power level. The power level is the average. It's going to be using the algorithm to determine what enemies you will face. So I'm not really worried about whether she's level 50 or 48 or level 52, whatever. I'm worried about her power level. So in order to keep her, keep up with everyone else on my roster for her, I'm going to have to keep her around at the moment around 3,000, make the push up a little bit later to 3,500. Right now I have um, my highest tune is Punchline at 3,300 with, uh, and she's L2, so yay. I'm going to have her L3 hopefully by the end of all these events, hopefully, if I can get through everything. But right now, just a quick, I'm going to level her up some more, or not level her up, sorry. Uh, gear her up a little bit more. I'm not putting the rings in because the rings are a little bit more scarce than the gears at the moment. So I'm going to gear her up in order to keep her to keep pace with the tunes that have broken 3000. Um, but she's going to fall off my roster and I'm looking at Superboy to take that place. And then I got uh, Superman. I'm not too worried about leveling him up at the moment I'm going to, but I'm leaving him on the back burner right now. I think he will be L1 after all those like login rewards and finishing campaign mode and all the other stuff. He'll probably end up being L1. I haven't really even done the math because I'm not really focused on him at the moment. Um, Booster Gold is going to be my slow gear for the moment, so I can complete those so I can complete those uh, daily missions and those um, advanced missions or heroic missions. Um, and then on top of it, hold on before I. Before I forget, I think that's it. Gorilla Grodd I'm going to work on. Like everything else that I'm going to work on or the tunes that I would like to work on, like Mr. Freeze. Brainiac is very dependent on um, me getting his frags through other means. Gorilla Grodd, I am going to farm him when I have the opportunity, but he's not a focus. Uh, next, uh, not Spectre, not Talia. Talia, even though she's, I have her R4, I'm not going to focus on her just because I don't know when I'm going to get more of her frags and she's not farmable. Booster Gold is farmable from Red Alerts. As I've already said, I'm making Red Alerts my new farm spot, not Heroic Campaign. And then as far as in Heroic Campaign, I am farming Green Lantern. I'm still farming Lex. So... And then Enchantress, of course. So all the ones that are like below 45 right now that I'm not really focused on, like Dead Man has had his turn, but he's over with. If I can draw him in the um, pools, then that's fine. The um, the Mega Pack or the, um, why am I not remembering it? I can just go back and show you. If I'm not drawing him in uh, these packs here, the Mega Arena packs, then I'm just not going to deal with him. And actually what I could do is... I might, let's see, is there anyone in PvP I can take out right now? Anyone? So I can get that 40, and then I can just do a quick random. Ooh, these teams are tough. Like, and that's the thing, too. Like, I'm getting to the power level now where, like, teams are tough, and I'm having to worry about legendary abilities and which legendary ability do they possibly have. Like, seeing an L1 Lex bothers me because I know there's the chance that he's going to have turn meter up on his tunes. Like, Nightwing. Nightwing, you have Nightwing. You have Jesse Quick, you have Spectre, and you have Star Sapphire. Okay, maybe I'll go at this team real quick. So, not really worried about Nightwing, 
in that sense in terms of the taunter i'm going to take out Superboy. i'm going to put in arsenal i'm tempted to put in punchline instead and we're going to run this right now now there was a person who and i'm even scared to like open up my browser right now because i'm worried about what's going to happen to everything i'm recording but there were a couple of comments on my last video i'm going to go ahead and answer those questions while this team battles let's hope we let's hope we win come on now let's go the the, the advantage i feel like i have here is that we have healage uh when my tunes buff they're going to heal there's no punch line here Punchline has been a real, real issue when it comes down to my um, free-to-play teams because she lays down that buff immunity on her A3s for the whole team. And so that stops my healing. I don't really care about the buffs. I care about the healing that comes as a result of the buffs with Lex. And she stops that when she does it. So it's really hard for me to go up against her teams. Um, so this one, hopefully, if we can get around to some buffs before Lex falls... All right, there we go. Then hopefully we'll be able to get it. All right, so now I'm going to go to the comments on this video from my last um, free-to-play account video. Chop, chop. Like, I mean, you see it. I mean, well, you can't see it, but yo, it is rough. It is absolutely rough. Um, all right, so let's get down here to the comment section. Um, oh, we uh, uh, we look like we're in good shape. Star Sapphire is really, really what's keeping them on, holding them on right now. So, uh, so Joe Blow Schmo, all alliances I can join, I play most of the day, or any alliances I can join, I play most of the day, uh, every day, but I can't find an alliance. I have a Discord on my Discord, there's a tab for alliances, I have not really checked for it lately. Uh, when I'm doing early game, I'm doing it the same way I did it the first time I played the game or when I first started the game, which is basically I'm only focusing on building my team right now. I don't even have a deep enough roster to worry about an alliance because I won't be able to really contribute to an alliance at this point. So right now I'm just building up the team, like building up my roster, building up my tunes, making them as strong as possible, trying to go after frags and stuff. I'm not uh, my free to play account. I'm not worried about an alliance right now. However, if you're looking for one, you can check out my Discord channel. I think also WRL Broadcast, they have a Discord and they also have um, a tab de dedicated to uh, alliances. All right, next is Dr. Dar oh, and then um, D Rock A. I can't believe you actually answered my question. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> uh, Dr. Dark, LOL. I'm currently trying to build the same team. I guess he's talking about the evasion team that I've been building or the, yeah, the evasion up team I've been trying to build, except with Nightwing lead. Oh. There's a team here, Nightwing Lee. Oh no, I'm not gonna win. I just realized I'm not gonna win this battle because now Jesse Quick is fully ramped and I won't be able to touch her. Daggum. All right, so I just uh, I just farmed Arsenal to L3 This um, for this reason and we'll be farming Amazo more. The other, and I think Amazo in terms of a red taunter is probably one I need to go after. Um, the other two are ready to go off, uh, off the Nightwing video. I may start ramping up Donna Troy and using her in the meantime to get Jesse Quick ramped up faster. Look, if you can, like Donna Troy isn't farmable, but if you can get her frags, like she would make a huge difference, especially in the mid game. Um, oh, also, why do I have to pick a name? <laughs> Thanks for the comment, Reed. LOL, sure, you can have the name, but then I'd have to pick a new one. Shoot, keep up the good content. Hey, thanks for the shout out. All right, so, and then... Uh, Daniel Beatty, most of my roster is currently at level 52, gear 7, which gives me an average power of 4k per tune that I use. I'm about to be ready to, for the next move forward, which level should I work towards moving my tunes to next? 58 or 60, then 62, in order to upgrade the abilities, something like straight to 60 or 62. I would say go to 60. There is no real benefit in going to 62. And then when you decide to go from 60 to 70, if you ever do decide to do that, then go from 60 to 70. Like pushing to 62 doesn't really matter because there's nothing that unlocks there. So I would say go ahead and just go to 60. 
gear 10 and then if you want to like get all your tunes up to that level however you choose to do it if it's like go oh, everybody 52 then everybody 54 everybody 56 whatever or then just the top 12 to that 60 level all at once however you want to do it i would recommend going to 60 not 62. so oh and then uh, asmr rafael uh rafael sorry well it was absolutely epic and magnificent such a great and intriguing video thank you i appreciate it all right so now that we're going to lose this i'm going to go ahead and call it a video and then maybe I'll put up a video later of me like doing a uh, a drawing from that from that bonus energy from the mega arena pack. But yo, free to play. I mean, I'm having fun with it, but it's it's definitely presents a different challenge than what I've had to deal with for the last like two years on my account. So I drop these other videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So please like, please subscribe. If you don't like it, subscribe to dislike. I'm okay with that as well. Catwoman video coming out later this week. Next week is gonna be the hush video, which cost me a lot of PvP a lot of pvp energy like it was hard to figure out how to work them but i figured it out anyway thank you guys for watching all the way through and i'll see you next time